Hi, this is uh, Jayhawk Scott, and I've got a little video here that I'm going to talk about um, drilling glass. And the first thing that you've got to do when you drill glass is you have to determine if you can drill the glass. Um, I have some bad experience in trying to drill tempered glass. If, um, if you don't know if the glass you're going to drill is tempered or not, you, you really have to determine if it's tempered or not. If, if it's tempered glass, don't even try to drill it. it. It will, if you try to drill it, the glass will explode spectacularly. I had a 55 gallon tank that I thought the sides of the glass were non-tempered and that just the bottom of it was tempered. And so I proceeded to drill the side of it and the thing literally just blew up. It's it's pretty amazing. Um, so, how do you determine if you have tempered glass? Well, it's really pretty easy. Um, you can do it with a, the cell phone, um, but the, I found that the, the cell phone isn't as, as easy to tell. I mean, you the display on a cell phone and the display on a, on a laptop will, will both work. Um, what you're trying to do is there's a difference between tempered and non-tempered glass and how um, it reacts with the um, with the the screen of a computer and a pair of polarized sunglasses. So what, what I'll show you is if if you have um, let's say here um, you got the screen half and half. Um, now if you have If you look at, this is just a pair of cheap sunglasses, just cheap polarized sunglasses. Now if you turn the sunglasses, you'll notice at one point in time it will totally darken out. Like that. That lets you know, that that just tells you this is a polarized source. And, and when you take one polarized, like if you had two pairs of sun, polarized sunglasses and you turn them against each other, at one point they will block out the light and you won't be able to see through them. So you can just see how that happens. Now, if you have a piece of tempered glass, tempered glass interrupts this. And you'll have some, some color change, but you won't get to the full darkening of the, of, the sun, of the sunglasses. Now see, if you come over here, see I've got a piece of glass here. And I know it's non-tempered because I've already drilled it. But um, if you watch here, the same thing will happen. See, it doesn't matter whether I'm through the glass or not. The same effect takes place. If I, I wish I had a piece of tempered glass to show you, but you wouldn't be able. It wouldn't totally darken out. You would have. Um, you, you have some color change, but it's it's not it's not right. So, um, if you use a. Uh, cell phone, what I've noticed with a cell phone is that it will change colors, but it won't totally darken out. I mean, you can see the kind of this rainbow effect. That's kind of the darkest there. It just, but again, if you put it underneath the glass, you get the same effect. The main thing here is that you want to have you don't want the glass to modify um, or change the, the impact of the, the display and the polarized sunglasses have on each other. So, um, if you have any question, if you're concerned that the glass is tempered, if you think it's tempered, uh, you're probably better to safe than sorry and not drill the glass. Um, but being able to, to use just a a laptop display or even a cell phone and a pair of sunglasses you can pretty easily determine if the glass is tempered or not but uh, again uh, before you partake that's a horrible feeling to, to drill a fish tank and to watch the thing explode spectacularly right in front of you been there and done that so anyways okay well this is Jayhawk Scott and uh, hope uh, you found this video to be informative uh, and I just wanted to say thank you to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate everybody signing up for my channel. Hope, uh, 
hope you find things on the channel worth your time and and uh, if you've got any comments or uh, please don't hesitate to leave them and uh, hopefully I'll have uh, some some more videos coming out really soon uh, this is Jay Hawkscott signing off